Well, um, I recently got a new update to my 2014 Tesla Model S, and uh, well, it's been a long time coming. Uh, as you can see here, 2022.8.10.1, uh, and right after that update, I received a new navigation update as well. So right now, I am on 2020.44-13555. Um, this update is really, honestly, it just looks more of like a, a, um, in the car anyway, a few things change. It's the look and feel is different. There's a new menu here at the bottom. Um, and the look and feel of it is, is quite different, but overall, I don't really see much of a change. Um, you know, a few minor changes, the charging screen, some of these icons got a little bit smaller, the charging screen now it's here and it doesn't show the charging st statistics like when it's charging um in the past we had the individual charging screen where it tells you how many kilowatts you're pulling and you know and so on and so on but all of that information is now on the dash so that's cool that's great but you know the real thing that i think here occurred is that now i can manage a few things from the app much better so for example i can set my amperage for home charging or whenever you know whenever you're charging like level two um or lower um you can actually control this this variable from the phone now and you can actually schedule charging from the phone all right so now this is the app in the app in the ios app you can now uh change your percentage to mileage view rate of miles now my favorite part is i can change the amp set for charging I like to keep mine at five amps um, when I'm not going anywhere, just to allow it to trickle charge. You can see here we can go all the way up um, to whatever our charger is able to, go all the way back down. Uh, then the next thing is the scheduled charging. You can now schedule departure settings or charging settings for the schedule. So you can enable charging uh, depending on how you want it to finish. Next is the charging stats, allows you to see the cost associated to charging, whether you're at home or at a supercharger or at work or other locations. Uh, this is uh, the part of the app that hasn't been available to all the Teslas and now it's available to, I guess at this point, every Tesla owner can see this. Allows you to select your uh, electric company and select the rated cost per kilowatt hour and you can do this for your work and other locations, and it's able to tally it up for you. Um, I haven't really noticed anything else. Uh, I took it for a ride on autopilot, and it worked. Um, yeah, I just wanted to do this video because uh, it's pretty cool that a 2014 Tesla Model S with a MCU-1 uh, still receives updates. Uh, it, was, it had been taking a long time, but they definitely did, uh, night, did, did us good by releasing this version so on the controls as you can see everything's still the same you still have your um your acceleration steering and regen settings your charging now it's here which it wasn't before um you still have the autopilot button for again there's an autopilot one car again nothing changed it just made the icons look a little bit fancier there's nothing new here that I can tell. Yeah, so to me, nothing, again, it's just a look and feel of this is the only thing that I could think of, but nothing really different. Okay.